I recently found this little thing lying around somewhere on the street. No, <laughs> I bought it at an auction. And this is actually a tiny little headphone amp thing. I don't really know what it is, but it looks pretty old. It's weird plastic that feels like it's going to break very easily. And uh, it has one thing that I like, and that is that you can plug in your guitar. You could choose headphones or line out. Now, headphones on this, not very impressive. Not a sound that I would want to use for anything. But, lined out to the amp, and especially if you turn the volume to max, and you can get some uh, nice overdrive distortion kind of sounds. And I'll play this for you real soon, and show you what it sounds like. But, what I was thinking is, instead of turning this in, into a pedal, which, I mean, we can do, uh, you know, the whole putting it into a box and having a true bypass and wiring up an LED. We could uh, experiment with where we put some extra parts, see if we can maybe, make, for example, make this into a more distortion kind of sound or put in some other parts, you know, fine tune it a little bit, see what happens. So, I was thinking I'd sort of show you a little bit, at least, of my process for doing that. I, I've already shown you that in other videos, but this is more of a, of a thing that maybe would actually happen if I decided that I wanted to turn this into a pedal. And then, you know, if you guys want to, I can actually turn it into a pedal. This will be more of uh, an experiment, like the other kinds of videos I've already done, where I put on different kinds of parts and see what happens. So, if you haven't seen those videos, this might make less sense, but if you've seen those videos, it will make more sense. I hope you can still follow along if this is, for example, your first video here. But uh, it's just more of a, let's make this into something that can be turned into a pedal and fine-tune it than actually just turning it into a pedal. For example, I've done videos where I have these little LM board things, for example, or I have the little PT2399 ships things uh, that you can get on eBay or Amazon and I just make them into pedals and I don't really do anything more with them. I mean on some videos I've done I do make more out of them than just the stock thing they are but you can change parts out and you can add other parts and you can go more crazy than that if you want to. So we're gonna do this. Now because this doesn't have a true bypass I'll have to switch things around a little bit to show you things. So, yeah. I have a guitar right here. It's Mikey. And I'm playing both pickups because that's what I felt like today. And I'll, I'll just play a little bit of guitar for you now so that you know what my original sound is. Also, just so you know, I have some sort of cold going on. My, my throat is giving out on me, so if I sound weird or if I make a bunch of weird sounds, that's the reason why. But let's play a little bit of guitar and just get a sort of bass sound going. <laughs> So now, let's plug this thing in. So, the guitar will go into this, and another cable will go to the amp, and on the side here I have a turn on, and then I will slowly bring it up, and make it louder and louder and louder, and we'll see what happens with it. And hopefully you will sort of see how there are some things that are good about it, and some things that are a little bit uh, not so good about it, and we'll go from there, basically. So, first off, 
as you probably can tell, it's really noisy, but that's because it's turned off. This wheel on the side is not just a vol volume control, it's also cutting the signal and basically turning it off. So first I have to just... And there you have the popping sound of it being turned on. And that's basically the lowest volume. So, nothing. And then we have to bring it in. There is it. There it is, I mean. And if you think about the sound quality, it, it is a little bit rounder right now, and also there's a bunch of more background noise. So we would definitely have to do something about the noise level, I think. And then we can bring up the volume a little bit. I have it here to the side, and I'm just going to slowly bring it up. I'm sorry about that. Turn on the volume on the speaker. Uh, Already it's and I'll turn up the volume again. background noise and now we're at max a lot of background noise I hope you can hear it down a little bit. So, let's jump into the over camera thing and let's um, open this up and take a look inside and see what we can do with it and then let's uh, start uh, playing a little bit and uh, messing around. Sounds good? Sounds good. Good? Yes. Yes. Okay, so here it is. So if you are for some reason interested in this particular one and you want to get it, and you want to mess around with it and maybe do something that I'm doing uh, because I'm finding something that you like, for example, maybe, then um, this is what you should be looking for. I can't tell you how old it is or anything like that, but it's one of these old, you know, that you clamp onto your belt kind of things. And the reason why I, I picked it up was because I... It reminded me of those old pedals, um, you know, back in the old days when guitar pedals had little clip-ons and they were supposed to be in your belt and not by your foot. I just, I just think it's super funny. So yeah, here it is and we can uh, mess around with it. So it's supposed to have uh, a lit for the battery compartment, but that's out. So let's start off by taking this one off because we don't need it right now. And this one you have to like bend it a little bit and squeeze it and get it out. And here you can see what it looks like on the inside. And it's not particularly beautiful, but it's still pretty cool, I think. So let's start off by removing the one screw that is holding everything in its place. And there we go. I'll put it there for now. And then I'll just push this like so. And we can take these two and put them to the side. Hopefully we, we won't lose anything. Okay, so here you can see what it looks like. Here are all the little parts that we can change out or mess around with if we want to. And uh, I might do that at some point if I can figure out what anything is. For example, here this little thing right there, 
pretty sure we can get completely different effects by switching this one out. Might be able to turn this into uh, completely different, basically. And uh, yeah, so let's take a look here. Here we have the little control, and as you can see, this little metal pin here is keeping these two from being connected. And when we move it, this snaps back, and there is a connection between them. And we can actually even check that with a multimeter. So if I go to continuity mode, uh, you get a sound when these touch. And if I hold this here and this here, there's no sound. But then I move it so that that snaps. And all of a sudden there is continuity between them. So, yeah. For example, if we turn this into a pedal, then I will remove this entire wheel and these three legs here in the middle that one and that one and that one they will be connected to the legs of a pot I will have to measure to make sure it's I know which pot is supposed to go there but basically like that I hope you can see what I mean and I would just have a connection between these two places just a wire or something or I would just follow these strips to figure out where they're going. For example, you can see here, that one is going there. This one is going all around here. So I might just have, I might just uh, attach this right there instead, because it's a little bit easier than having it pulled all the way. That's an option. Okay, so let's start out by figuring out these connections, because that's a good thing to do. So, just give me a sec. So this is the output. We can start off by finding out where the, the ground is by using the continuity mode and plugging in one of these. Here, I'm using a broken stereo. So I have to figure out which one is ground and which one is lead uh, and lead uh, as the tip. So, you can start off by finding the ground here. So there we have a ground. And here we have my little ground clipper thing. So, let's uh, start off by adding a little bit of flux there. All of these connections look a little, let's call them uh, mysterious. Again, just so I'm sure. Let's just add a little bit of flux right there and then a little solder to my soldering iron and let's add this one I've painted a black mark on it so that you will know which one is the so you will know which one is the, the ground and now let's find this one so first off I just need to figure out which one of this is the tip I'm actually gonna do one thing more because I want to know if this is this has, if this has uh, like some sort of stereo thing, it might have on on the headphone. I don't think it does, but just give me a chance to see if the if one is both ground and so the red one isn't also grounded, but the white is, or at least I think so. Or no. Okay, so that one goes there, and that one goes, and this might not be very fun, but yeah, I don't think this, this goes to anything. So let me just check the white one is there, strange the battery is connected to it let me just take this out and see is it the tip yeah it's the tip okay so now we know that this one is the tip so let's do a mark with a pen that that is the tip so that we know and remember it so I'm just gonna take 
permanent marker and do a little blob right there. And now we know what is connected on that side. Let's see. This resistor here, for example, it goes there. It's connected to that there, which is connected to this, I think. What's on there? I don't think there's anything there. Okay, so that is also an interesting spot. We can see what happens. I'm just following the traces to sort of see what's there. Because I don't have a schematic of this and I don't want to spend the time right now. Uh, maybe you can see. I don't know if you can. But under this capacitor, there is a little, there is a little hole right there. And that hole comes out there. And so, I imagine that there is precisely behind. But it's not, I don't think it's that there. You see how that's the capacitor like. So that there is nothing, I think. Because it's just in between that leg and that hole. But there's nothing under this capacitor. Um, basically, here we have the, the input, and here we have the input after a resistor. And so we can experiment with, you know, seeing how it will change the sound, basically. Can we get maybe a um, reading on this? Let's see here. What is this? This pot here is a 11.6 so i think it's a 10k pot i'm just gonna see if i can see some writing on it because usually you can but um no it might be under this so let's take a quick look no it's not there either so let's start by adding this one right here and uh, just um, put on some things and see what happens and then we'll, we, we might move it to the other side and we'll see what we'll add right there something like that so now we can work on maybe seeing what happens if we um, put some diode clippings for example in between here and we could add some diode clipping right there for example let's see if I can find something like for example we could take these two clippings right here if we wanna we can just place it right there on the board obviously we would have them to cut them to size size so they don't touch anything else but we could just lay it basically right there sort of those there and sort of those there and uh, you know that's fairly easy we haven't changed anything right now so let's plug in the guitar and set everything up and then we can play around a little bit and then we can also start adding things and changing things and now we can get into it and then we'll move this one over to there i think because that could be interesting to see what happens if we have a resistor and a cap and maybe there we can add something else and we'll just see what happens and i just want to say that i don't think i'm going to do it in this video because the thing will become too long but you should also, you know, like write things down and go back and forth. And maybe you should have a, um, a capacitor here and not a resistor. Uh, and then maybe you should have your diode clipping here or something. So, so you should go back and forth and experiment and, and really find out what you like. But I'm going to sort of just wing it and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so here we have everything now plugged in. I have a battery right here, which I hope you can see. And my guitar comes in here and comes out here. And here we have the little things. That, and now we can start experimenting, putting things on and uh, see what happens. I've found a volume that is just, you know, so that the video doesn't get uh, a bunch of weird clipping in it. Uh, you know, keeping everything in at a volume where I can also talk without having to be like super loud so yeah obviously you should mess around with the volume and see what happens if you have max volume or if you have very little volume i'm not going to do that right now either just because yeah th this sort of tinkering is not really suited for a video format 
So, uh, yeah, let's just start with things. And since I had these out, uh, let's see what happens if we if we attach something to them. <laughs> You can see they light up. Can you see that they are lighting up? No, they're out of frame. <laughs> Sorry. So let's just try real quickly to see if there is a big difference. LEDs usually don't give you that much uh, difference, so because it's such an open clipping or whatever you want to call it. A little bit, but I think we're, we I think we're gonna jump the LEDs for now, and we'll try something else. Let's try this little capacitor here, for example. I don't feel like that did much. If I remember correctly, this one, last time I used it, did a lot. You can already tell, a little bit less noisy. But the volume also dropped a bit. But it got less noisy. raise the volume a little bit and see what happens so without this there's a lot of background noise I think you can hear it and then let's add this back on it got quieter not a lot there's still some background noise the volume back a little bit. You can sort of hear the noise being reduced and that's how you how you know that like okay well something is changing if you don't feel if you hear anything when you're not playing changing. This one softened everything up a little bit. Um, oh god damn it, I can't see what it says on it that it is. You see that text? It's so incredibly small. Like, how am I supposed to read that? I'd, I think I'd really like, I'd really enjoy to find a cap to put on this because it is a little bit too much background noise. For. I don't mind it in a fuss because a fuss is such a over the top thing. But I feel like this is not supposed to be uh, a fuss. I feel like there's also like more bass. But not enough. Not enough. Okay, here we have some... What are these? I'll, I'll try to tell you, but... Um, these are N5... 39i something like that well, wasn't enough for me to care should we put this on again just for fun I think we should just for fun but let's take these little diodes here first just see what happens. I don't know, that wasn't very fun. 
one either. <laughs> maybe this, maybe, sorry, if I sound too too much like I'm complaining, I'm, I'm sorry, because um, as I've already said, I have a little bit of a cold today, so I feel a little bit less energized. <laughs> I think these are very fun because um, you can see how it's trying to move. I'm gonna I'm gonna max out the volume for a second. Sorry, I just I. Um, I think it's very funny because it become, becomes, you know, it vibrates like an acoustic. Like if you play acoustic guitar, you can feel the vibration when you're playing. And then when you stop playing, you, you, there's no vibrations. And it's sort of the same thing here. It, it, like it becomes, I don't know, I'm just doing something and hoping that something fun happens. <laughs> Again, this one is always my favorite with the distortion. This. But um, yeah, let's put that to the side for now. We don't we don't need to mess around with that too much, I think, even though it's fun. Let's see. Do, 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 do. What else do I have in my extremely messy work area full of a bunch of crazy stuff? Oh yeah. Give me a sec, I'll be right back. Okay, so I found this thing here. Can't really tell what it is. <laughs> to be honest, uh, I feel a little bit stupid about that, but let's add that. So here's this. Here it is without. And then let's add this on. I feel like it got quieter. Hmm, let's put this to the side and we will do one another experiment with this that I want to try out and that is putting it on a pot. Let's try something else. Here are some red diodes. I don't think it's going to be very much different from the green ones we used earlier. <laughs> those for now and let's see something else let's try um, let's try these style clippings that I have right here <laughs> mm. I wish I had a bunch of like old things you know something that just felt like oh it's rare old parts you know not because I personally think that those sort of things matter but just because it would be fun to have something special to show you but none of these things are you know nothing here is particularly interesting <laughs> i'm sorry to say or at least i don't know i find them to be particularly fun okay let's see here here is a 50k pot so let's um let's try to be creative if we can so i'll put this ground wire right here so let's remove this thing here and let's remove that and add this instead and now we have this pot here let's see what happens if we move it Nothing happens.
which means one thing, and that is that I've just wasted a bunch of time putting on a pot that most likely is broken. So give me a sec. Yeah, it's broken. Never mind. That's annoying, but that's the way it is. Sometimes you just do stupid things. I think, instead, let's just have this in between here. And let's just pretend that that's the only thing we care about, the sound being this weird thing. Okay, well, I think it's a bit too much, actually, and that I most likely will, I'm gonna remove that later, I think. And everything is sort of still a little bit noisy, but we're also sitting in front of a soldering iron and, and lights and things. So let's add this ground here. And let's add this here now. And, um, yeah. Let's experiment a little bit with clipping right here instead and see um, how things will be affected. Now let's get this one out of the way immediately. I mean, this is... Sounds kind of cool, but it is... Um, it's a bit too much, I think. Okay, let's take these little LEDs right here. Okay, let's try um, let's try these ones instead. Ooh. Oh, and they're burning up. Ooh, can you guys see the smoke? They're burning up. At least I got that on camera. Haha. <laughs> oh, that's such a gross smell. Oh, that's so fun. I'm thinking with this thing that I... Like, it's just a little bit too much, I think. Do I have anything else fun add here and see what happens to it? Maybe this thing here could be fun. At least they're not burning up, but they are not making a lot of sound. But they got really warm. Oh. Haha. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Sorry. It's just... I've been kind of hoping that I will accidentally put something in the wrong place and burning it up so that you guys get to see that happening. And now... Now I did it. Dream come true or something. I don't know. I don't actually have, like, an anything I'm looking for. I, I probably should have had... Thank you. 
I'll be back real soon. I just need to take a break. Okay, so I decided to remove that thing that I put there because it sort of was messing up what I wanted to experiment with right here and just I'll probably find something else to put there. But right now I have this capacitor right there and I really like it because everything is really quiet and you'll hear it soon when I take it off. But listen. <laughs> Still a lot of like distortion or, or something. So yeah, I think I might add this here actually. Maybe this will be a place for like a capacitor or something and not for the I feel like that. Hmm. Ah, maybe not. Let's put this here and see what happens. Maybe also burn up. I feel like this did a better job here. And because it's still doing that thinning out thing. But it's not as much or, or as... Uh, it's not taken up as much. I don't know. Sorry. This video is going to be so long and it's just because I'm noodling around and I'm not uh, focused. I think a little cap of some sort would be a good thing to add just to... Just to try to find something... Um, I don't know. I don't actually know what I'm looking for. I just hope that I'll hear it when I find it. You know? Mm. I think I might actually add this and, and then I'll, I'll go back to the distortion part. <laughs> And just see what happens. I don't know. It wasn't that huge of a difference, but... But I feel like it's making it a little bit better. Or whatever that might mean. I don't know. I feel like I've done this video too many times now. That maybe it's time to uh, call it a day. Let's turn off the amp real quick. I don't know. Ah, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm. Hmm, I was hoping I'd find something cool that I would just be like, ah, this. But I don't know. Alright, so it's been about almost two months, actually, since the first part of this video was recorded. And it's just, um, I don't know. It's hard to explain, uh, maybe. But I didn't, I wasn't very happy about the end result of this video. I didn't feel like I got 
anywhere or did anything that was particularly interesting or fun or that I did anything that I haven't already done in other videos. It's always fun to find a little cute uh, toy of some sort and see what sort of weird things you can do to it. But when it comes to making a video, you know, it's also about, you know, providing something new when it comes to like content or whatever. I don't like calling it content. But, you know, hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say. But anyway, so I decided to to not post this video. I also felt like the ending was kind of uh, sad or potentially could be interpreted as being sad and I didn't like that. I don't want to end a video on a negative um, note, you know, or tone. Uh, not that I think that it's, you know, necessarily a bad thing. I don't think every video has to be positive and super cheerful and go, yeah, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, and I also don't think that every video has to be, you know, have a good ending or whatever, you know, I, like, yeah. But anyway, I I took a break from it and I, I did a little bit of work on it. And yeah, I was just going to tell you where I'm at right now because it looks a little bit different. And so let's jump back into the overhead camera view and i'll just quickly show you what i've done okay so here it is right now and first of all the big change is the way it looks you can see that i've i've basically i removed this and i removed the jacks because obviously we're going to have the signal go in through the two bypass switch if we decide to make this into a pedal and so i just I removed those parts and then I saw all the empty space and I just removed that as well. I did cut here a little bit wonky, so I lost a little bit where I wasn't supposed to. And so I had to just pull a wire to ground for this leg right here. But that's, I just, I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing uh, or not as close of attention. And the same thing here, it became a little bit wonky here. So I put down a little bit of epoxy clay to hold these wires in place just because these tracks were lifting up and so just to hold everything down and to be honest I might remove this pot and just have the wires go to max because I feel like max volume on this is where it's at this doesn't do much for me in terms of tone but we'll talk about that in another video if we ever get to that because I it's neither here or there right now and I might change some other parts before then to um, basically make this into something else and then maybe the, the volume pot will be relevant or, or something. Anyway, then I noticed that this ground and this output signal here, you could flip them around and the effect would still work the same. <laughs> Yeah, this is not a very high-tech thing, but doing it that way lets me be able to put this into a pedal. Because otherwise, uh, a metal enclosure would ground out the signal, basically, because it would be be very wrong. So, I don't know if that's, you know, the way it's supposed to be, but it just felt weird to have it that way, where the ground... And the out are connected uh, in a sort of crisscross thing. It's hard to explain really uh, but don't worry about it. Uh, but it would have interfered because the plastic enclosure it wouldn't matter but but if I put this into a metal enclosure it, it will basically totally wreck the signal and I would just have a mess. But anyway so I could just flip them around. So this is the old ground and this is the new ground and now that's turned into the output lead so that's a fun little thing that happened that i realized that i could change then on the other side here i found two little holes and i just put these legs in here and that's basically just because i think that i'm going to experiment with seeing what happens if i connect something there at some point but yeah you might remember from earlier in the video that i played around with putting this in different places well i actually replaced the little tiny electrolytic capacitor was there with this one and it didn't change things too much but i feel like it became a little bit of a nicer sound 
we still have a lot of um, noise in the pedal so it didn't get rid of it but at least it made things a little bit better so that's one thing i also changed out this capacitor right here which i just i just changed it to something that i felt like, like sounded a little bit better didn't pay much attention so don't ask me <laughs> what i did the big change that i did and hopefully you will notice a difference in sound is this transistor right here i'll point with something that you can see it a little bit better but right there there's a transistor it's a 9014 i believe and i changed it out for an 2n5088 which they are both uh, oriented the same way so it was very easy to do and um, i didn't have to do anything weird i could just pop it out and pop the new one in and yeah i'm not 100 percent sure of this yet there's probably something else i need to do i need to probably do something about the noise basically and also probably something about the volume level because when it's at max volume it's way too loud but that's when i think it sounds nice but um yeah i'm thinking of maybe if i uh, like decide to make this into a pedal to do the same thing i did with the gremlin 2 pedal that i made not too long ago a couple of months ago and uh, basically use one of those little circuit that you can basically eq the signal with and just have this volume disappear and use the other volume to control it but i haven't decided yet if that's something that i want to do but it might be something that i want to do obviously i'm not turning this into a pedal in this video this was more trying to do something else which i don't necessarily know exactly what it was but yeah here it is the big changes that actually occurred this might seem like a change but that one was just going to one of the other legs on the opposite side so i just connected it where it was supposed to go and just kept the wire in place so it's just not going through the pot because the pot is gone and replaced with a new pot but yeah maybe there are f more fun things i could try i haven't really checked out for example these resistors maybe some of them could be changed out for another value i don't know if you see something here that you think ooh, hey then uh, let me know but yeah that's it i think i don't think i did anything else to it except those things but yeah i'm really happy about the changing the the ground and the lead signal that it was that easy to do because i i looked at it and i thought oh this might be a troubling troublesome trouble that will be annoying for me and i'm glad that i just had to flip them around basically so let's now go and listen to it and you can tell me if you think i've done any changes that you think are good i'm not completely done with this yet if i want to turn it into a pedal or something like that i still want to maybe experiment a little bit more with it but at least i have started to get there so you know let me know what you think in the comments below and if you enjoy these sort of experiment videos where i just put on things because those videos they are all i feel like people like them when they arrive but they are very difficult to film because they feel very aimless and weird and i don't know in what direction i'm going or what i'm doing and yeah i just have to question myself all the way through doing them so let me know if you, if if those videos are actually something you like and uh, yeah that's the end of this video until next time stay awesome and cool and go and play around with something you know take something apart and see if you can turn it into a pedal it can be anything all right good <laughs>